Today I will share the best Notion alternatives that you can find currently on the market, and honestly, there are many of them. So I will also discuss why I recommend a specific tool and how you can implement it in your daily workflows. And it's not going to be an easy task, as Notion undoubtedly become one of the most popular productivity apps, and there is a good reason for that. Its flexibility, customization options, and all-in-one workspace have made it a favorite among many users. People use it for project management, task management, note-taking, or creating a knowledge base. But as much as I love Notion, I know it's not perfect for everyone. And this is the reason why I prepared my best Notion alternative list. You can find the links to all these tools in the comments and the description. Let's dive in! Probably Coda is the closest alternative to Notion. It has quite similar features for note-taking. However, it has more advanced project management features and it is a more user-friendlier tool with a shorter learning curve. It offers outstanding customization and flexibility for creating different types of files such as spreadsheets, databases and documents. Thanks to its collaboration features, Coda is very ideal to startups, small teams and freelancers. When writing notes, it works similarly to Notion. It uses blocks to structure your content. You can use different photograph styles, add quotes, callouts and more. When creating a block, you can choose from many formats like text, tables, images, calendars and so on. It offers numerous possibilities for customizing your page. Using these options, you can easily create task lists, calendars, project trackers or team sentiment tables. If you don't want to start from scratch, you can choose from many templates to get started quickly. Similarly to Notion, it has an AI assistant that helps you in many ways when taking notes. For instance, it can summarize, translate, answer questions or help you brainstorm on an idea or convert it into a table. All in all, if you are looking for a tool similar to Notion, but with a shorter learning curve and the user-friendly interface, I recommend you to check out Coda. Now, let's take a look at the second Notion alternative. One of the best alternatives to Notion is Xtice, when it comes to note-taking in a visually appealing way. They refer to themselves as the baby of Notion and Miro, and this is true. Exercise was designed for individuals, creators, teams, and people with ADHD. It is a beautiful workspace to organize notes and manage your projects and tasks. You can use this note-taking app for personal or business purposes. If you work with others, you can effortlessly share everything with your team and manage your projects from here. One of the main differences between Xtice and Notion is that Xtice uses ties to display and organize information on a page. If you click on the created tile, you can adjust the size, set the background color and easily move it around the page. The ties give you full flexibility to structure your content in a way that 100% you. Another main difference between Xtice and Notion is the learning curve and the user interface. Xtice is a visually appealing app that offers many ways to visually organize your notes, but most importantly, it is a very simple app with a short learning curve. On the other hand, Notion has a quiet, massive and slightly outside user interface with a way longer learning curve to explore and learn all its features. Overall, you can implement Xtice in note-taking and in some collaboration workflows like managing projects with others. Now, let's move on to the next Notion alternative. Taskade is also a great Notion alternative. While it offers limited note-taking capabilities compared to Notion, it has many features to automate your workflows, project management and task management. Taskade works like a lightweight project management app and it offers an AI power platform where you can collaborate with others or manage your projects on your own. To oversee your task, you can choose from numerous views including mind maps, lists or calendar views. But what is really special about Taskade are the AI agents and the automation. Let's start with the automation. Taskade's automation allows you to streamline repetitive tasks by setting up triggers and actions. You can design custom workflows and integrate them with many other apps like Google Sheets, Slack or Gmail. For example, you can create a rule for adding a task in Taskade if there is a new response submitted through Google Form. Or it can automatically create a task after a meeting with scheduling Calendly. If you click here, you can customize the rules of automation further. Another exciting and unique feature is the AI agents. They are useful for collecting information, helping you to brainstorm, delegating tasks and do ultimately improving productivity. But they are more than just a regular AI assistant. You can tailor your AI agents to your specific needs by providing it with sources, comments and instructions. 
For example, you can create a brand collaboration agent and you can provide it with information from the internet, PDFs, YouTube videos and so on and it will use this knowledge to give you accurate outputs for your requests. So it gives you more value than just an AI assistant or a chat GPT as you have the full power over what sources it should use. Lastly, compared to Notion, it has more advanced collaboration features. You can easily assign tasks and projects, add due dates or start chatting about the project. Furthermore, you can create separate spaces and folders depending on whether you want to share them with your team members or not. Ultimately, I think Taskade is a solid Notion alternative if you are looking for a tool with advanced features for automation, project management and collaboration. Let's move on to the next Notion alternative. Appflowy is an open sourced AI driven workspace to bring teams, projects and wikis together. It's a similar layout to Notion and it is a relatively easy to use app. It uses building blocks when creating content. You can insert headings, text, images, boards, grids, calendars and more. So Appflow is a very capable tool for writing notes or tracking your tasks and projects. Let me show you now how you can implement it for task and project management. If I click here, I can access my to-do list. As you can see, I can easily drag and drop items, add or edit my task. If we move here, we can assign the task to others or add due dates. Let's see how you can track your projects with Appflow. It works like a lightweight project management app, so you can easily add status, assign its progress, dates and many others to each project. It is very simple to share your project with your team members. Just click here and copy the link or export it as a CSV file. The good news is, is you don't need to generate these pages for yourself if you don't want to. You can simply choose a template that fits you and change the properties. AppFluV has an AI writer feature as well. If you press splash, you can use AI to come up with new ideas, summarize text or answer questions. Overall, AppFluV is a simple but efficient Notion alternative that you can access from your mobile as well. Now, let's see the last Notion alternative, which is not that simple. If any type is new to you, imagine it as a combo of Obsidian and Notion. It offers a powerful workspace that combines nodes, databases in one platform. Compared to Notion, it has more robust note taking capabilities and this is exactly what makes any type a more complex app. You can access it without internet connection from many devices including your mobile. Anytype uses object based note taking which means that anything you write in Anytype is an object and you can connect these objects with each other. Anytype uses relations and links to connect your objects which are ultimately valuable when checking your graph view as you can see how your notes are related. Essentially, the graph view gives you a bird eye to oversee how your database is structured. And finally, you can use sets and collections to filter and organize your objects based on a specific criteria. Sets are useful for filtering an object type, for example images or pages, while collections are like folders, so if you put your stuff here, it will not change. I know it sounds complicated, so here is a quick tutorial that helps you to understand the basic concepts of any type. This way you can decide more easily whether this note taking app for you. That was it for today guys, uh, you can find the links to the Notion alternatives in the comments. Let me know what other tools you would add to this list. Also if you found this video helpful please support with a thumbs up and the subscribe. See you later guys.